Hi, uh, this is Dr. Paul Feuerstein. I'm technology editor of Dentistry Today. I'm here with my good friend Doug Yoon, Dr. Doug Yoon, who's been my resource for probably 15 years on digital radiography. His expertise, among other than being a dentist, is in mathematics and physics. And uh, whenever I had a question about, Doug, what's the latest thing with digital radiography, he would say, oh, and I'd sit here for an hour and a half listening to the answer, which I was sorry I asked in the first place. Well, uh, first of all, let me say it's a pleasure being here with you, and the feeling is <laughs> totally mutual. Well, I, I do have a, a rather strange background. Uh, my first educational uh, degrees were in uh, math and physics, so, uh, and, and then, Later, I went to dental school on the urging of my father. So I wanted to sort of give back to the community and try to apply the image processing and image analysis um, uh, technology that, that I had learned and bring it to the dental field. Well, it's been, it's been the foundation for a lot of just research and development of any type of digital radiography. And you've taken XDR to an interesting level. Um, it may not be the household name right now, but boy, what a great product this is. Um, some of the things that I've seen done in this process is, first of all, you've, you've redesigned the whole sensor. Um, I, was, I was kind of striking to see that it's white on the front, it's rounded corners, and you capture a lot more of the image. What is exactly going on there? Oh, that's a good question. And that, that white face, for example, is all part of this, uh, what we call the anatomic sensor concept. And I think that too much that engineers drive the design of a medical uh, hardware and software rather than listening to the clinicians and saying what we need. So. The white face, for example, comes from the need to better visualize these dark black sensors in the patient's mouth. So you can see them better. You can see it better. When so when you're positioning for a bite wing, you can actually see where it is in the mouth? Absolutely. Very clever. And then the other aspect is that we've minimized the dead space on the mesial side of the sensor. Now, the curious thing is, for historical reasons, engineers have always put the control electronics on the mesial side closest because it's closest to the cord, and it kind of makes sense intuitively, but it really doesn't make sense clinically. No, because if I'm trying to capture the distal of a cuspid in a bite wing, that's a problem. Exactly. Wow. And anybody who's used digital knows that. Yes, that's and so, exactly it. And so, you know, when we first came out with this sensor, we heard both from the universities and from the general practicing dentists that have first tried this sensor, how much easier it was. That's Two millimeters extra boy, imaging space. That's a huge amount. That makes it a lot easier to do. And then with the software, what's, what I've not found to be interesting is that you have these uh, algorithms, I'll call them, but you call them filters, uh, where you can see caries differently or endo differently or perio differently. What, what is that? How does that all work? Oh, right, right. So one of the, the uh, uh, neat things about digital sensors is that they have sensitivities to grayscale that go beyond that of the human eye. So, But if you just present it verbatim on the screen, it really doesn't pop. So. It's so wonderful that as image processors, we're able to accentuate that additional sensitivity by stretching out the histogram, for example, in that part of, of the, the grayscale so that the human uh, visual perceptual system can see these things So if better. I'm looking for caries, you can sort of zoom in on the caries in one mode and zoom in on, say, endo lesions or perio lesions in another mode? Exactly, but not zoom in in a spatial sense, no, but I, I zoom mean, in in brightness. And, I see. It, so so from, diagnost from diagnostics, it, it makes it a lot easier. Right. That's terrific. And it's different than just changing brightness and contrast because you don't want to just brighten the whole picture or darken it because then you lose the anatomic well, context well, of so the rest of the You're tube. the one that understands all the little zeros and ones and all this stuff inside the sensor that most people don't really get. And I think that's really marvelous. Well, that's my job. Now, I know there was a study, a large study that was uh, published in the uh, Quadruple Quadro Journal about digital sensors and uh, what was that all about? And how that, what was... I thought that was a great study. You know what I liked about that study was it's, it's objectivity. Uh -huh. And I think it's one of the first papers of its kind where uh, the authors, and this was in Quado, December of 2013, uh, I believe Hima Adupa was the primary author, and it was a study out of the University of Texas. And it was one of the first studies where they clearly delineated and defined the primary characteristics of a visual image, a, a digital radiographic imaging system. And these include spatial resolution, contrast perceptibility, and dynamic range. And they studied a number of different uh, sensors, of they, course. They did, with their proprietary a phantom that is able to measure all of these parameters. So, and, and I must say, uh, having read it, one of, the, one of the better sensors happened to be XDR, we're, thank you. We're proud to say that we were near the top tier, but all sensors had something good yeah. that they could... And, and, and could it's validated. I think the whole 
the digital radiography is totally validated at this point in dentistry. Yes, it was totally objective, and that's what I like about it. And, and the most interesting thing to me about this company is you and the people that work around you and the passion you have, not so much, I mean, for your product, but for everything in dentistry. I mean, how do you keep this going? We love what we do, that's how we keep it going. <laughs> and we're so happy to make a contribution to dental technology, and that's really why we do it. And, and, and I have to say, even if I'm asking a question about some other competitive process, you're always good about saying, here's how that one works, here's how this one works, without saying better than, worse than, you're so objective, Doug. It's such a pleasure to work with you. Well, it's my pleasure to And, and like really, thanks, thanks for sitting down with me, or standing up with me, as we say, and uh, thanks so much. And how do people find out more about this company? Well, uh, certainly you can go onto our website, xdrradiology.com. Okay. That's two R's in a row with no dash or dot in between. <laughs> um, That's or, great. And, 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 and just call us anytime. And all, all right. of our contact information is on our website.